Hello Libra, this is Renee and welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome. If you are returning, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate all of your likes, comments, and subscribes. This reading is going to be for Libra for 2023. What Libra can expect for the new year and what is coming next for Libra. What is coming next for Libra? Forgive the noise in the background. My kitten is going through a bag. Okay, we have justice. True Libra nature coming out first. Okay. The justice card. We have the king of cups. I have to put on my glasses. Okay. Yes, we have the King of Cups. Wow, okay. What else do we have for Libra? We have the King of Pentacles. Wow. We have the Eight of Pentacles. And the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, just one moment. Get down. Okay. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay. What else do we have for Libra for 2023? What can Libra expect from the new year? We have the Seven of Wands. Okay. And the Fool. Ooh. We have the Seven of Pentacles. Seven, seven so far. And the Ten of Cups. Wow. Powerful. And the Three of Pentacles. Okay. What you don't see on the bottom, Libra, you have the Three of Cups on the bottom. So I feel like what you don't expect is I feel like you're going to go to a lot of social events. You are going to um, be like the life of the party this year, Libra. Um, you may be surrounded by people. This may be you also um, gaining new friends having a circle, kind of being the spotlight. I feel like you're the leader of the pack, Libra. I feel like you're, you're kind of the leader of your group. You're the one that people go to when they have any questions, any, uh, when they need any advice. But I feel like this is going to bring you a lot of support, a lot of interaction, a lot of socializing. You may be you may go to a lot of social events. Okay, Libra. We have the Justice card and the King of Cups. So definitely, definitely. I, you know, with you showing up here, the very first card of the reading, Libra, I feel like that's a very strong message for you. I feel like you're showing up in a very strong position because you are gaining your balance. You're winning. You're you're finding your success. You're really going for what you know. You're finding your truth. This is leading you to a new life's purpose. And I feel like this King of Cups here, this could be a new love that's coming through if you're single. And if you're not single, I feel like this is your love just escalating to a new dimension, to a new level to a new um, perspective. Okay, you also have the King of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles. So definitely, definitely love coming in. Now this love that's coming in, it not only nourishes you and not only supports you and loves you, but I feel like it loves you with no bounds. It's boundless. It's fearless. This also increases your income. It increases your wealth. And wealth isn't 
only on a monetary scale. I feel like it increases your wealth of love. It increases your value. I feel like this person finds you invaluable. They find they find that they can't live without you. They are truly there to support you, to nurture you, and totally take care of you. I feel like this is a solid leader. This is a provider. This is a wise investor. And I feel like this is someone who's going to really nurture you and take care of your feelings. Okay, we have the Eight of Pentacles. So yeah, I feel like all the work that you put in to yourself in 2022, Libra, is coming through. It's totally escalating in 2023. And um, with the Eight of Pentacles, I feel like, you know, you are mastering your craft. You're truly enjoying your life at the moment. This could be a new career that you're enjoying as well. It's something that you're very passionate about doing. Um, but I feel like you're finding yourself. You're finding a new place. This is a new level, a new change, a, um, a good fortune that's coming your way. This is you finding this new balance, this new this new atmosphere that you totally belong in. I feel like you gambled on a certain situation and now this is your good fortune coming through. Very interesting, Libra. Okay, we have the Seven of Wands and the Fool. The Seven of Wands and the Fool. So I feel like, I feel like this new beginning, you totally know how to carry yourself. You totally believe in where you're going or what you're doing. You're totally making this leap of faith. You're going not with your thought process. You're leading with your heart and with your spirit. You're following the the universe's guide. You're look, he's stepping over the edge. There's nothing there. He's just totally not aware that he's he's just gonna fall. But he trusts the universe that the universe has his back. And I feel like that's exactly what you're doing with the Seven of Wands. I feel like you're trusting. You're protecting yourself against any negative energy, any, any negative vibrations. You're setting good boundaries. You're following your intuition. You're, you're going on a brand new journey. And I feel like where it's leading you is the Seven of Pentacles. I feel like, you know, Libra, I feel like you're growing. You're growing into this beautiful, vibrant person that's very attractive, that's very abundant. And whatever successes that you're looking forward to, I feel like you're watching those grow. This could be in your home life. This could be in your family. This could also be in your career. But I feel like you're growing something that's very special to you with this Ten of Wands, excuse me, Ten of Cups right next to it. I feel like it's something that's going to bring you a lot of happiness, a lot of joy, and a lot of contentment as you see it grow. This may be you planning out a family, planning out a business, planning out a side hustle that brings you more income. But I feel like this is something that's growing into something that's going to be very mature and very heart giving, something that is going to be your total happiness and abundance. Very interesting. Okay, Libra. We also have the Three of Pentacles. So I feel like with this Three of Pentacles energy, I feel like you're very supportive. I think people around you are, are rooting you on. They're ready to celebrate you. This could also be you working with other people to create your dreams. This could be you working with 
the King of Cups or King of Pentacles to create the life that you want. But I feel like you're not alone in the situation. I feel like you're being very supported in the situation. And I feel like once the year um, gets moving and you flow into 2023, I feel like you're you're truly going to feel all the support. <laughs> Definitely, you have the sun. So, yeah, you have the Ten of Cups and you have the sun. So, abundance, happiness, um, everything you want, success is coming into your view. That's what's coming for you, Libra. Very interesting. And the Four of Wands. There may be a lot of celebrating. There may be a lot of social events, a lot of happiness, a lot of parties that you're going to. This also may be you taking the plunge. It, it may be you um, accepting some kind of proposal for, for marriage here, Libra. You also have the Page of Swords. So I feel like this year is going to bring you a lot of truth, a lot of knowledge, a lot of new ideas, different perspectives. I feel like you're going into this year very curious about how it's going to lead up to or how it's going to turn out. And look at this. We have the full again. Double full energy. So definitely, definitely this is a new journey for you. This is a very exceptional new journey. This is you taking that leap and really following the instruction of the universe. This is you having your wonderful new beginning. And I'm really seeing the sun shine through here. It's a yellow card. Yellow is yellow cards in the tarot are very happy, very um, successful cards. So yeah, this is going to bring you a lot of success, a lot of happiness, a lot of joy. Okay, and a lot of new income. Definitely. This is your abundance coming through, Libra. This is your happiness. This is a new job, a new career, new finances, new investments. This is something coming in that's going to really be sustainable for you in the new year. Okay, Libra, let's get some oracle cards for Libra. What do we have for Libra? Okay. What do we have for Libra for 2023? Bittersweet. Okay. Yeah, I feel like you're going to be completing some kind of project. There's something that's going to come to a completion. And you're going to feel like you're very sorry that it did. Um, and you also have guilt. So, yeah, this... Now, actually what I'm feeling is... You're having a lot of guilt from being so happy, maybe when other people in your circle may not be. So don't feel guilty for your happiness, Libra. I feel like it's other people's responsibility for their happiness. You cannot take on the responsibility to make someone else happy or to bring happiness to someone else. Now, you can make them happy in spurts or, you know, give something that makes them happy or so forth. But you can't truly give someone else happiness. They have to provide that for themselves. So, yeah, make sure that you understand that, Libra. And you have mysticism on the bottom. So I feel like you are unfolding a lot of mysteries this year. I feel like you are doing your magic this year. You are bringing things to life. Okay, what else do we have to Libra? We have ears wide open. So yeah, make sure to take time to... Be aware of the situations around you. Be totally um, 
be observant about the way people act, the way people may address you or uh, speak to you. And make sure you take a look at how they speak to other people about you. We also have the lamb in between. So yeah, I feel like, you know, you are kind of undecided about situations, but I feel like the answers are coming. I feel like you're going to be making good choices. You're going to be making good decisions because you also have the time machine on the bottom and that is will of fortune energy. So yeah, you have the will of fortune twice as well. So I feel like good fortune is coming your way. I feel like this year is going to be the year of Libra. Definitely the year of Libra. The year of your happiness. The year of your abundance. Very strong new beginnings um okay we have the desert okay with the desert i feel like you know what i feel like you're traveling i feel like you're traveling this year and you may go to very warm places you may go to the tropics. You may go to some kind of warm environment. You may go to Nevada. Um, but I feel like, or you may live in Nevada. But I feel like you are, you're staying in the sun. This could also be people around you who are, Have kind of dry attitudes. Have kind of strong beliefs that they don't want to take a new perspective on. That's what I'm getting with the desert. Okay, what else do we have for Libra? What manifestation uh, manifestation cards do we have for Libra? What do we have for Libra for 2023? Okay, we have, yeah, just what I was saying down here with ears wide open. Um, assess the situation. First quarter moon in Virgo. Assess the situation before you take a leap. Um, I'm not saying about your new beginning. I'm not saying that at all because for that journey, you need to just trust your intuition. But I'm saying assess, assess the situation when it comes to the social events that you're in. And I feel like you're going to be very social this year. And yes, first quarter moon in Sagittarius. Believe in your good luck, Libra. Definitely. And what you don't see on the bottom first quarter moon in Leo. Be humble. Be grateful for the gifts that you are receiving. Be grateful for the universe. Be thankful. Um, flow with a, a, a thankful heart. And that humbleness will take you very far. Okay, Libra, this is what I have for you for 2023. If this reading resonates, please like and subscribe, hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads, and make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity on your situation. And Happy New Year, Libra. Many blessings to you. Love and light.